hello welcome back to my channel the kitchen and lifestyle today i will be making a vegetarian dinner bok choy bok choy it's very very healthy for you you can look up all the health benefits of it bok choy come in different sizes this is baby bok choy it's easy to cook it doesn't take too much time now we're gonna give it a nice bath to clean all the sand inside I'm gonna put some sea salt in my water then I'm gonna soak all these bok choy inside I'm gonna let it sit for about 5 minutes to 10 minutes in the salty water this way if there is any bugs inside they will come out alright after 5 minutes I'm gonna clean my bok choy one by one by dipping it harder in the water this way all the sand will come out now you see this is the dirty water I don't know if you can see there is small black bugs which I'm gonna go for a second round to wash it off All right, now we're gonna cook our baby bok choy. We're gonna add two tablespoons of butter with about three to four tablespoons of water. When the butter starts melting, we're gonna add the bok choy. This dish is so delicious. It doesn't take more than 15 minutes to make. It's easy and quick and healthy. On the side, I'm making some white rice to go with it. And here, I'm gonna even up the bok choy, then cover it and let it cook for about five minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna prepare the sauce that is gonna give a beautiful Asian flavor to the bok choy. I will add some organic soy sauce. Here, I just, I measure things. So if you're bad with measuring, I will say put three tablespoons of soy sauce with three tablespoons of sesame oil, a little bit of salt, then black, peppers then we're gonna add some crushed peppers or peppers flakes not much just for the taste Then I will be adding cornstarch, a big tablespoon of cornstarch. This is gonna thicken our sauce. I will add a little bit of water, then mix it all very well till all the ingredients are combined and there is no lumps in the sauce. Okay, here the recipe required to use brown sugar, but I will be using just raw honey. I added two tablespoons of honey. If you like it sweet and spicy, more sweet than spicy, you can add more sugar to it. 
when you are cooking this dish at the end you should taste a little bit in your palm and see how you like it if it needs more sugar or more salt or paper flakes it depends about your taste here our bok choy is being cooked for about five minutes we're gonna flip them and add the sauce All right, here I am. I added my sauce and we're going to cover it and let it cook for another five minutes. Here, like you see, the sauce, it's thickened. The smell is amazing. It smells like an Asian restaurant with my simple ingredients. I will let it cook for five minutes. Then we're going to go to the serving process. All right, here I have my cooked rice. You can use brown rice, black rice, any rice of your choice. I usually eat black rice or brown rice, but this is my family favorite too. So we will be eating white rice. I'm gonna place my rice in the middle. I shape it with this mold. You can decorate your plate as you wish. Alright, now we're gonna place the bag choice on top of the rice. This dish will serve two people. It's very light, especially for dinner. It will go very nice with uh, a side of miso soup. Maybe I will make that in the next video. After you place all your bag choice, you're gonna add some cashews or dry roast peanuts and put the sauce on the top, drizzle it around the rice. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe please and see you next video. Take care and God bless.